Once, Gautam Buddha told his disciples that, when you give something to others, it comes back to you many times over. If you make someone happy, that happiness comes back to you multiplied. In the same way, if you make someone sad, that sadness also comes back to you multiplied. So if you can, make others happy. And if you can't, at least don't make them sad. Because whatever you give out comes back to you. What you send out comes back to you. And what's truly yours will come back to you eventually. What is yours is yours. No one else can claim it. It will always find its way back to you. A young disciple asked Buddha, when we cause pain, suffering, or hardship to someone else, it's them who receive the pain, suffering, and hardship. And the one who is causing all this pain gets joy at that time. So, what we give to others, how do we get it back in many forms? Then Lord Buddha said to that disciple, the creation of this world began with a seed. Just as planting a seed in the ground brings forth a huge tree, and from the fruits of that tree, more seeds are obtained, which in turn grow into more trees. And from those trees, more fruits are produced, and again seeds are obtained. This cycle continues, multiplying a thousandfold each time. When we cause pain, suffering, or hardship to someone else, it first arises in our minds. Only then do we express it outwardly. Whatever we have within us, that's what we give to others. And as soon as it arises in our minds, it becomes like a seed planted within us. Disciples, now think. When we plant the seed of violence within ourselves to torture others, then that seed will become a huge tree of violence within us, and the fruits of violence will grow on it. And from those fruits, more seeds will be born, and those seeds will again become trees. And in the end, you will be punished by the violence of your mind itself. Then disciple asked the Buddha, does the same happen when we give happiness to others? Do we also receive happiness in return? Buddha said, when we give happiness and joy to someone, a seed of joy and happiness is planted in our minds. It grows into a bigger tree and it produces more seeds. Joy and happiness come back to us a thousandfold. The disciple asked the Buddha, is there a way I can experience this right now? Buddha said, for that, you will have to come with me. Then they set out to another place together. After traveling a long way, they encountered a very hungry person on the road. Buddha said to that disciple, Look there, young monk. An old and hungry person is sitting there. Go and offer him your food, then see what you receive in return, and then come back to tell me. The monk approached the old hungry person and said, Are you hungry? If you wish, I have some food with me. You can have it and satisfy your hunger. The old person replied, I am very hungry. If you give me food, I will be very grateful to you. The young monk gave food to the old person who ate it and then said to the monk, may you be happy, stay blessed. The young monk returned to Buddha and Buddha asked him, what did you receive after feeding the hungry old man? The monk replied, he didn't give me anything. Buddha said, that's the problem. We do receive something, but we often don't realize it. That's why we tend to give more sorrow than joy to others. The monk said, Oh Buddha, I don't understand. What are you trying to say? Buddha said, When you fed that old person, didn't you feel happy? Weren't you internally content? Didn't you feel good? And didn't that person bless you as he left? The monk said to the Buddha, Yes. I felt very happy. I experienced immense joy within me, and that person blessed me too. Buddha said, that's the seed you received. You've only received a small portion of the happiness from that seed. When it grows into a tree, you'll receive a thousand times more joy and even more. Buddha took the monk along with him on the journey. On the way, they encountered a poor person who had some money with him and wanted to buy food for his family. Buddha said to the young monk, that poor person has some money, just enough to buy food for today. So, go to him and take that money from him. The monk reached the poor person but returned without taking anything. Buddha asked the monk, What happened? Couldn't you take his money? The monk replied, Just the thought of taking money from that poor person made me feel unhappy. 
and if I had taken his money, he would have cursed me. I couldn't do it. Just thinking about it caused me a lot of pain. Then Buddha said, that's what I wanted to explain to you. When we do wrong, the seed of wrongdoing is planted in our minds. Even if we do wrong to others, the seed affects our minds. Those we harm won't bless us in return. Whatever they give, whether a curse or a bad luck, it will be negative. When these thoughts start in our minds, it's hard to know what will happen next, and even harder to stop them. So, young monk, always think before you act. Our actions can either weigh us down or make us stronger. <laughs>